I welcome you in the name of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. It's a wonderful privilege to come together this afternoon to worship God the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. This afternoon we come together to be reminded of Christ's ascension into heaven and we are grateful for this opportunity to worship together. Vanmiddag kom ons saam om die hemelvaart van Christus te vier. Dit is so voorrecht om saam te kom en die naam van Jesus te eer en te aanbid. En ek bid dat dier die kracht en die macht van die Heilige Geest dat jy vanmiddag die tenwoordigheid van God sal ervaar. Kom ons begin saam en sing ons eerste gesang Christus Jesus groot en machtig. Christus Jesus groot en machtig, je wig Jesus i op die troon, loof die Here ewig kragtig, hy het met lof en eer gekroon. Prijs die Here, hy skenk lewe, hy wat heerliklik bewoon. Loof die koning, hy vergewe, prijs sy naam so wonderskoon. Christus Jesus, Seen van David, Redder, Heiland, God en Heer, Wat jy lewe vir ons afle, Ons verlos oor ons regeer. Loof die koning hoog verhewe, Waar die jemel koore sing, Lei hy ons wie hy vergewe, Wil hom dank en eere bring. Jesus Christus, Heer almachtig, Hy het jemel toegevaar, En daar aan sy kek gedachtig, Pleit vir ons met liefde daar, Loof die koning hoog vir jewe, Waar die jemel koore sing. Lei hy ons wie hy vergewe, Wil hom dank en eere bring. Christus Jesus groot en machtig, Jewe geers jy op die troon, Loof die jere ewig krachtig, Hy het met lof en eer bekroon. Prijs die Heere, hy skenk lewe, stier vir ons sy heilige gees. Voor wat Christen God vergewe, laat ons hom gehoorzaam wees. Amen. Kom ons buig die hoofde. Kom, let us pray together. Almighty God, we praise and thank you that we can gather this afternoon to worship God the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Thank you Almighty God that 2000 years ago that Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior ascended into heaven where he is now seated at your right hand side and that we can glorify and honor his name together as we are reminded of this day. O Vader, ons is net dankbaar dat ons vanmiddag kan saamkom en dat jy ons kan herinner van die jimmelvaart van jy Seen, Jesus Christus. Ons bid, Heere, dat dier die kracht en die macht van die Heilige Gees, dat jy baie teenwoordig sal wees en dat dier die woord dat jy vanmiddag met ons sal praat. Almighty God, we are just thankful that we can gather together this afternoon around your word and we pray that as we come together to hear yeah, the reading and the preaching of your word almighty God that you will grant to us grace and wisdom as we try to understand the power of the ascension upon us we pray this in Jesus name Amen this afternoon I have two readings our first reading is taken from the Gospel of John, John chapter 14 from verses 15 
to 31 and then from Acts chapter 1. But firstly, I would like to read from John. Let us hear the word of God. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper to be with you forever. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you yet a little while and the world will see me no more. But you will see me because I live, you also will live. In that day you will know that I am in the Father and you in me and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and keeps them, he, is, he it is who loves me and he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Judas, not a scared, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and he will come to him and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. And the word that you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, He will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away, and I will come to you. If you love me, you would have rejected. You, if you love me, you would have rejoiced, because I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it takes place, so that when it does take place, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no claim on me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise, let us go from here. Our second reading, our second reading is taken from Handelinge. On tweede skrif lesen wat ons van handelinge hoofstuk 1 en ons lees van vers 9 tot 11 ons lees van handelinge hoofstuk 1 vers 9 tot 11 nadat hy dit gesê het is hy opgeneem terwyl hulle dit sien in een volk, in een wolk het hom weggeneem, zodat so hulle hom nie langer kon sien nie. Terwijl hy weggaan en hulle nog stip na die hemel kyk, het daar skielik twee mans in wit klede by hulle gestaan. Die sê toe vir hulle, Galileers, waarom staan julle so na die hemel en kyk? Het die Jesus wat van julle af na die hemel toe opgeneem is, sal net so terugkom, soos jylle om na die hemel toe, gesien, op, gaan, het. Het jylle ooit daaran gedink, hoe die disciples van Christus moes gevoel het, daar die dag, toe jylle daar op die hevel staan, en terwijl hulle staar, hoe Jesus Christus opgevaar het, jimmel toe, wat sal moesies was binnen in hulle? En ek weet, dat hulle baie bang was, 
want ons wordt verteld dat nadat die jammervaart plaatsgevonden het, 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 het hulle teruggegaan naar Jeruzalem toe en hulle het in die kamer toe gegaan waar hulle saam met Christus op die vrijdag vergader het uh, vir die paaswees en hulle het hulle self daar toe gesluit en daar gebleef vir 10 dagen in gebid hulle was baie, baie bang so daar is daar een emotie dat hulle baie, baie bang was maar ik is baie zeker dat hulle ook baie hartseer was want voor drie jaar het hulle saam met Christus gestap. Voor drie jaar het hulle gesien hoe hy dier die kracht en die mag van God mense genees het. Hoe hy dier die kracht en die mag van, van God um, levens gered het. Dier hulle liefde had, dier hulle met sy liefde te kroon kan jullie niet aan het denk hoe het hulle emoties was want so 40 dagen voor die hemelvaart het hulle gezien hoe hij gekruisig was hulle het gezien dat hij dood was en dan op die derde dag het hij weer opgestaan so dat was geweldige sterke emoties en die harte van die disciples. Op dat tijdstip toe Jesus opgevaar het in die hemelvaart, moes hulle Jesus opgee. Can you just imagine the emotions that the disciples of Christ were experiencing at this time? There was great fear as they had to, as after this ascension, they locked themselves away for 10 days in the upper room. They were petrified of the Roman authorities and the Jewish authorities. But yet too, they, there must have been this tremendous emotion of, of grief and heartache because they had to give up their physical Jesus, this person who dwelt with them, who walked with them for for over three years and their hearts were heartbroken because they had to let go they had to give up Jesus so that he ascended but yet by giving up this physical Jesus they allowed themselves to experience something far greater than the presence of the physical Jesus let me put it to you this way when they were standing there and, and, and they experienced the ascension of Jesus into heaven, what they were experiencing was something very profound. Because you see, by letting go, they were going to experience something far greater than the presence of the physical Jesus. And I would like to explain to you that two important events happened when the ascension of Christ took place. Ek wil met julle deel vanmiddag, dat toe Christus na die hemel opgevaar het, dat twee belangrike goed gebeur het. Twee belangrike goed gebeur het, toe die Christene, toe die disciples, daar op die hemel, vir Jesus laat gaan het. En ek wil begin met die eerste. Toe Christus opgevaar het die hemel toe en toe hy in die hemel opgegaan het was hy verheerlik dier die Vader hy was nie meer die persoon wat die disciples geken het hier op aarde nie maar hy was verheerlik hy het toe hy in die hemel gegaan het toe hy op, in die hemel gevaar het Het, is hy op die rechterhand van die vader gesit en hy is verheerlik when Jesus Christ ascended into heaven two important things happened and the first thing that happened was that Christ 
ascended into heaven and he was then seated at the right hand of the Father. He, he took back his lordship in heaven and he is now seated at the right hand of the Father where he intercedes for us, where he is our advocate and where he comes to the Father and he pleads our case before the Father that he may forgive us our sin. Jesus sit now at the right hand of the Father and where every day where he for the Father pleads for us that he pleads for us sonders and that the Father ons forgive and so that was belangrijk that the disciples for Christus die, die, die fysieke Christus moes opgeer Want nou pleit hy vir ons op die rechterhand van die Vader elke dag, so dat ons sondes vergewe kan word en dat Christus vergewe kan word. Dat ons hom kan prijs as God die, dat ons Jesus Christus kan, kan aanbid as ons Heere en ons Redder. It's important that Jesus ascended and that the disciples let him go so that he can take up his lordship that he can be worshipped as our lord and as our saviour and the second important um, the second important issue of why it was important that the disciples had to let go was that it enabled the Holy Spirit to descend ten days after today Ten days from today, we celebrate the day of Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit came down in all His power and might, and He has come so that we may be filled with the Spirit, so that we may be God's witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. The Holy Spirit needed to come down, this helper, this one who comes alongside, so that we may go out and perform the mission of God. The two other important things, how come it was important that the Christians, that the disciples of Christus, Christus must let go, was so that the Holy Spirit could come, that the Holy Spirit could come on the day of the Pinkster, so that I and you, the sending of God can voltooi that ons van Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria and to the end of the world that ons the evangelie of Christus can for, for, for mense can vertaal. And so my friends, is it ook belangrijk for ek en jy om te laat gaan. Daar is tye in ons levens dat ons Goed, dat ons dat dat ons aan goed vasthou, want want ons want ons is bang dat als ons dit laat gaan, dat dat ons ons sekuriteit gaan verloor. Maar my vrienden, als ons wil groei in Christus, als ons wil groei in God, is daar ta is daar tye in ons leven dat ons goed moet laat gaan. Ons moet daar goed laat gaan, zodat so God in ons leven kan werk, dat hy ons can let grow in his kracht en his mag. My friends, it's important. There are times that we need to let go of things. There are things in our lives that are holding us back from experiencing the power and authority of God in life. There are times that we are holding on to things because we believe that they give us security. We hold on to them because we are afraid to let go. But my friends, today, may I encourage you to let go. On this day of ascension, op die dag waar ons die jimmelvaart van Christus vier, mag ek jylle vraag, laat gaan. May I ask you today, let go, so that the power of Christ, through the Holy Spirit, may descend upon you, that He may transform you, that He may renew, that He may use you in ways that will amaze you. Just think of the disciples of Christ when they went back to the upper room. They were petrified, but on the day of Pentecost, they were transformed by the Holy Spirit and they became bold men and women for Jesus Christ. Don't let my friends, that day on the earth, when they were Christus, 
was hulle bang, hulle was in die kamer vastgesluit, maar toe die heilige gees op die pinkster afgekom het, op die dag van pinkster, my vriende, het hulle mense van kracht geword, hulle het uitgegaan in die naam van Christus geprys, en hy het hulle gebruik, tot die kracht van sy naam, and so today my friends, let go, let God come upon you, and may he transform you today on this day of ascension, may you come to know, the power and authority of God's Holy Spirit, that can transform you, and do great wonders through you, let go my friends, and allow God to work in you, and to transform you, may he use you for his goodness, and his greatness, and may you be transformed by his love today, in Jesus name, Amen. My vrienden, mag God vandag in die werk. Mag jy laat gaan en mag hy wonderwerke dier jy vrug. My vrienden, gee vandag jy lewe aan God en dan kan jy meer en meer van sy liefde ervaar. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for your word to us today. Thank you Lord that you want to use us in ways that will transform our lives. And I pray, Lord, that as we stand before you today, that you may remove all fear, that you may remove all, all, all hurt from our lives. Lord, indeed, those things that hold us back, remove them, Lord, so that you may use us to your power, to your glory. Where you must father, ek vraag vandag, dat ons voor u mag sit, en dat ons al die goed wat ons bang maak, dat ons al die goed wat ons seer maak, Heere, dat ons dit kan verlaat, dat ons in die hande kan sit, en dat jy ons lewe kan transformeer, en dat jy ons kan gebruik, tot jy eer en tot jy naam. O God, mag jy heilige geest nou oor ons kom, en my ons, en mag hy vir ons kracht en mag gee, O Lord, my Holy Spirit come upon us right now, my Holy Spirit transform us, my Holy Spirit grow in us, and Lord, may we become a people, that will glorify and honor your name. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us close this time together with our second hymn. Crown him with many crowns. Crown him with many crowns. The Lamb upon the throne. Hark now the heavenly music drowns. All music but its own. Awake my soul and sing. Of he who died for me, and hail him as the matchless king throughout eternity. Crown him the Lord of life, who triumphed o'er the grave, and rose victorious in the strife for those he came to save. His glories now we sing, who died and rose on high, who died eternal life to bring, and lives that death may die. Crown him the Lord of peace, whose power a scepter sways, from pole to pole that wars may he cease, and all be prayer prayer and praise. All hail, Redeemer, hail, for you have died for me. Your praise shall never, never fail throughout eternity. Crown him the Lord of love, Behold his hands and sight, those wounds yet visible above, in beauty glorified. All hail, Redeemer, hail, for thou hast died for me. Thy praise and glory shall not fail throughout eternity. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen.